Hi, welcome to my channel, The Magic of Math. Today, my lesson is on how to perform operations in scientific notation. So our objective today is that you will add, subtract, multiply, and divide numbers that are written in scientific notation. Here's what I want you thinking about today. How can you perform operations with numbers written in scientific notation? And we're gonna apply what we already know about like terms to do this. So we're gonna first review what like terms are. So back when you learned about algebraic expressions and how to combine like terms, if you were presented with this as a question, you would have to analyze it and look at and realize that none of these were like terms. 2x plus 2y plus 2a plus 2b, there's nothing you could do to combine any like terms because to be like terms, they have to have the same variable with the same exponent. And these are four different variables. So since there's no like terms, you can't do anything here. So when we're looking at scientific notation, we have a factor and a power of 10. In order to consider these like terms, the power of 10 needs to be the same. So just as your, your variable with the exponent needs to be the same, your power of 10 with the exponent needs to be the same in order to combine or add numbers in scientific notation. Now, mind you, this, only, this rule only applies to adding and subtracting. It won't be the same for multiplying and dividing. So, which is the same when we would go to multiply this, we could multiply 2x times 2y and get 4xy, but we cannot add them or subtract them. So the same thing with scientific notation. These are not like terms because the powers of 10 are different. So to add or subtract numbers written in scientific notation, the power of 10 must have the same exponents. Once they do, then you just add the factors, which is the 2.3 and the 4.7 are your factors, and keep the power of 10. So to do this, we're going to always keep the larger and change the smaller to match the larger. That's just a trick I learned. So we need to make this power a power of 10 that has an exponent of 7. So this means that my power of 10 got larger by 3. That means my factor needs to keep balance by getting smaller by 3 spaces. So we're going to move the decimal point and make this factor smaller by 3 digits. So let's do that, review that again. This power of 10 is going to get larger by 3 tens. That means this needs to get smaller by three tens digits. So my decimal point was here, one, two, three. So you can see that this got smaller as this got larger. Now I have a power of 10 with an exponent of seven and a power of 10 with an exponent of seven. So these are now what we consider like terms. So I can add the factors 4.7 and 0 0.0023 and I get 4.7023 times 10 to the seventh. All right, so if you think you're ready to go, I would have you pause and try this. If you're not quite ready, then stay with me. So these are like terms because they both have the same power of 10, so I don't need to change any factors. So I'm gonna add the factors and keep the power of 10. So 5.7 plus 9.83 is 15.53, and then we keep the power of 10. You don't do anything when you add or subtract, as long as your power of the 10 is the same. Now, this is, it says write your answer in scientific notation, and we know from our previous lesson that this is not in scientific notation. So if you have not learned about writing a number in scientific notation, now would be a great time to go watch the scientific notation video. So we're going to convert this into scientific notation. We know that we need one significant digit to the left of the decimal point. So I'm going to move that. So this number, the factor got smaller by one digit. That means my power of 10 needs to get larger by one digit. So remember, you need to keep the balance. If you make the factor smaller, the power of 10 needs to get larger. Smaller, larger. Okay, and there's our answer. So now it's your turn. I would like you to find the sum and make sure your answer is written in scientific notation. Please pause 
You can come back and hit play when you're ready. Welcome back. Let's see how you did. So the first thing I want to note is that these are not like terms. They have two different exponents. So the first thing I'm going to do is change the smaller value to have the same power of 10 as the larger. Now this is tricky for students. Negative 4 is larger than negative 5. So I'm going to convert this power of 10 to a 10 to the negative 4. So this had to get, as this got larger by 1, this had to get smaller by 1. So now I'm going to add the factors and keep the power of 10. So 4.6 plus 0 0.77 is 5.37, and we keep the power of 10. And my answer is in scientific notation, so I'm all done. Okay, your turn. Same rules apply for subtraction. Go ahead and find the difference. Pause, come back and hit play when you're ready. Welcome back. Let's see how you did. So the first thing I'm going to check, because I'm subtracting, I need to make sure the powers of the 10 are the same, and they are. So I'm going to keep the power of 10 and just subtract the factors. So 8.9 subtract 5.6 is 3.3, .3, and you keep the power of 10. It's in scientific notation, so I'm all done. All right, let's go over multiplying and dividing scientific notation. My students always have an easier time multiplying and dividing because it doesn't matter what the powers of 10 are because the rules for multiplying and dividing are different. So to multiply or divide, you multiply the factors and you add or subtract depending on whether you're multiplying or dividing. So if you're going to multiply, you multiply the factors, add the exponents because that's our rule when we multiply ex uh, powers with the same base you can add the exponents. If we were going to divide in scientific notation, you divide the factors and you would subtract the exponents. So again, we're applying our exponent rules here for multiplying, finding products, and division. So when you multiply in scientific notation, you have to use the product of powers property and the quotient of powers property. If you have not learned those yet, I hope you'll entertain my video for those as well. So here we go, we're gonna multiply the factors. We get 24, and then when we add the exponents to the powers of 10, and negative six plus negative three is negative nine. Now we need to make sure our answer is in scientific notation, and here it's not. I have two significant digits to the left of the decimal point, so I'm gonna write it so that I have one significant digit. The factor got smaller, so the power needs to get larger. Negative eight is one larger than negative nine. So once again, this got smaller by one digit. That means this needs to get larger by one. Negative eight is one larger than negative nine. All right, your turn. I would like you to divide. Remember, you're gonna divide the factors and subtract the exponents using our quotient property for exponents. Pause, come back and hit play when you're ready. Welcome back, let's see how you did. So the first thing I'm gonna do is divide my factors. 3.6 divided by four is 0 0.9. And then I'm going to subtract my exponents. Negative eight, ne sorry, negative nine, subtract eight is negative 17. Now I need to check if my answer is in scientific notation and it is not. I do not have a significant digit to the left of the decimal point. So I need to move my decimal point one digit to the right and that got larger. So that means my power of 10 needs to get smaller. So this gets larger by one, this gets smaller by one, and negative 18 is one smaller than negative 17. So my answer is 9.0 or 9 times 10 to the negative 18. All right, your turn. Please find the product. And make sure your answer is in scientific notation. Pause, come back when you're ready. Welcome back, let's see how you did. So hopefully you multiplied your factors and got 31.6. Then we're going to add our exponents to our powers. 9 plus negative 12 is negative 3. 
Now we need to check to see if it's on scientific notation, and it's not. So we need to move the decimal point one to the left to make that one significant digit to the left of the decimal. This factor got smaller by one digit. That means this needs to get larger by one digit. Negative two is one larger than negative three. Your turn, find the quotient. Please pause and come back when you're ready. Welcome back, let's see how you did. 5.7 divided by 4.56 will give you 1.25. Now we're gonna subtract our exponents. Three subtract negative two is positive five. Check to see if it's a scientific notation and it is. So our quotient is 1.25 times 10 to the fifth. I hope this gave you some information about performing operations and scientific notation and that you will come back and join me soon. Have a great day.